This is Marcelo Quadra with your News in 90 for Tuesday, August 20th. 16 depressions have been found in a Hudson neighborhood, and Pascal County Emergency Management is working to determine the cause. County officials reported Tuesday morning that four additional sinkholes have been discovered, increasing the total number to 16. According to the United States Geological Survey, Florida is one of the states that has dealt with the most sinkholes because of the limestone land surface. Reports have shown a slight increase in size, but officials says there are no safety concerns at this time. Italian Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte officially announces his resignation. Conte's resignation comes amid a political turmoil after he was threatened with a no-confidence vote. In his resignation speech Tuesday afternoon, Conte blamed the decision on his rebellious and politically ambitious Deputy Prime Minister Matteo Salvini, accusing him of sinking the ruling coalition and endangering the economy for personal and political gain. Conte's successor will be the fourth Italian Prime Minister in five years. Thousands of French police are setting up checkpoints in France ahead of this weekend's G7 summit. More than 13,000 officers are combing Atlantic beaches, securing the southwestern coast for the seven world leaders who are expected to attend the summit. Protesters are also setting up camp in towns near France's border with Spain for peaceful protests, but security forces will be on high alert. French and Spanish intelligence officials are coordinating against any threats. The world leaders, including President Trump, are expected to discuss economic and international issues at this year's summit. That's your News in 90, but your Florida news is always on at WUFT.org.